Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I want to talk about what to do if you want to help with beta testing my programs. As I'm just about to send emails out to everyone who wants to help with beta testing Bounce Metronome, then it's probably quite a good time to talk about this. And basically it's pretty straightforward. You can do just do whatever interests you and, and do as little or as much as you like. And the simplest form of beta testing is just to download the program and try it out as a user and and simply report back to me any, any, any issues that you, that you come up with and see if you get any freezes or bug reports. And, and it's just, it's very straightforward. So I, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about some of the other things you can do if you're interested in doing it. So, uh, and the first of all thing is that if we're doing beta testing, then this is very much looking at the usability of the program. So it's not brainstorming, trying to get your ideas about, you know, some brilliant new ideas about how to lay everything out and rearrange the whole thing or whatever. I just want, I'm, at this stage, you can, you can do that as well, but that's not beta testing. So with the beta testing, then it's just saying, trying it out as you, as, as you would use it normally and what arises. So for that reason also, please keep to areas of the program Beta test, there is a program that interests you or that you need. So for instance, if you're interested in swing, do the swing and lift. If you're interested in polyrhythms and so on, if you're curious about things, also go and see that. And you can say a little bit about how it turned out. For you, you were interested in theremins, rhythmicon, but when you went to that window, you went to that version of part of the program, you had absolutely no idea of what it was all about. That sort of thing is worth knowing as well. But the uh, if you have absolutely no interest in the bouncing lyrics, and you're never going to use that for anything, then leave it to someone else to be to test that. So, uh, because I sometimes get people saying, oh, what about doing this like that? And it turns out they're just, not, they're just talking purely theoretically. I want to know in actual nitty gritty, you're actually using it for this. You are using the swing metronome because you want to practice swing. And so that's why you, you're talking about its usability. But the other kind of way you can you, you can do the beta testing is that uh, is trying to stress test the program. So this is the a somewhat different perspective from the ordinary user is that when you're trying to beta test, what I do when I'm testing the program is that I try to make the program crash. I try to do it, make it do something it shouldn't either crash or make the rhythm go all haywire or, or make something strange happen. So I try all sorts of different combinations, really it's stress, test, stress testing it as much as I can. So for instance, one thing I do is I might bring up this. There's an option to combine many rhythms. So you have 16 already, and then there's another 18 rhythms you can combine. You get uh, something like 34 rhythms all combined together. And it's not very likely that many people are going to use that, but that does really stress test the program quite well. So for certain things, so that's one thing I might do. And you can try combining together many different features together. You know, try try using, you know, try just lots of different features, the different ways of showing bouncing balls, different ways of doing the beat counting, and uh, the visuals, the uh, counting count beat system, the bouncing balls different ways of displaying them. So just combine or anything you can think of, different rhythms, try putting in all sorts of crazy types of music notation into the music into the music notation editor. So if we've got it here, no we haven't here, it's in uh, rhythm. Oh yeah, there we are, rhythms using music notation. So you could just pop all sorts of crazy music notation in there and see what happens. Just whatever interests you, uh, whatever uh, then in that area of the program, just you can try stress testing it and see if you can make it crash or do something it shouldn't. And so an another thing you can uh, to do as a beta tester is just to report any just little things. So some people get really into the kind of nitty gritty of the program and like typos. If you if you're a good pre proofreader, then you may well find an occasional typo that some things that are that I've misspelled or, you know, I've re I often reverse letters. Uh, I think I might be slightly dyslexic, I'm not sure. 
Or and then another thing is, uh, I mean, maybe that those will all been fixed. I do have quite a few people looking out to, you know, I do get people mentioning such things. But that you may find some things like that still. But uh, another thing is that the see that pan button, that it's slightly out of alignment compared with these two. It's slightly to the right. Now I didn't notice that. I've been using this for quite a bit, and I didn't notice that until today. And that's because I have a, a defect in my right eye, which means that I can't see straight lines as I see straight lines as, as jagged lines. And so I often miss if things are not aligned properly. And so that's a very common thing that you might spot in my program. And I, 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 oh, luckily, my compiler has an auto-align feature in it. So I can just line them up, just click a button, and it automatically aligns them all up. But sometimes when editing, I don't notice that I, and I haven't done that. So you may well find a few things like that. So for some people, that is most, m maybe many people even hardly notice a bit like me. But for some people, that really sticks out. And that's, you know, it's a little bit of a, it just, it's like a, it's just something that bothers them, you know, if you, and so if, if I do like to fix things like that and get everything aligned for, for those people who get bothered by such things. And um, so to don't, don't feel that you're going to that, that take a, give as many bug reports as you like. Uh, I have occasionally had people who send me dozens of bug reports a day, and that's absolutely fine if that's the way you like to do it. And um, and you know, some uh, for instance, uh, sometimes might go through might go through lots of different windows just looking for misaligned controls and 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 typos. If that's what what you're into, then you know, fine, go ahead. Just just whatever you're interested in and whatever you like doing, and don't feel you have to do anything because chances are there'll be someone else who does that if if that's not your your particular thing. So. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it. I think so. That's the, those are the main things to to focus on the areas of the program uh, when it's for usability. Then to then particularly working with the areas of the program that interest you or that you need. And I'm particularly interested in in how it how easy it is to use. If there's something, yes. If there's some, you may find that some windows just don't make any sense. That's quite possible. There may it may seem that there should be something there and it's just missing or the layout doesn't make any sense you just don't understand this window at all let me know about that as well because it could just be that i've i've put something in the wrong place in the window or, you know i did a bit of editing and the button ended up in the wrong place or or that i just haven't noticed that it was a bit confusing and just if there's anything and if you don't know where anything is then again let me know about that as well that you, you, you want to do such and such, you just can't figure out where it is, then do ask me where it is. And and then in the process of answering that, then I, that may well turn up other other things in the user interface. So, I mean, I think, I think those are the main things. And if you want to help beta testing, then thanks very much. It's a great help. Oh, uh, and, and of course, uh, if, if there's anything to do with actually using it on a Mac, there's some difference between Windows and a Mac. And if there's anything you notice that I, I, I come as a Windows user, I've talked a little bit about that, but if you notice anything that I've missed that, uh, that perhaps I might be able to do something about. Uh, and thanks very much, and look forward to hearing your bug reports.